following presentation is for mature audiences only. Who are you? He's a fine man. All hell is broken loose. He's a great broadcaster. He's a very powerful guy. Absolutely brilliant. Feared by men, adored by women. He's a smart boy. It's patriotic. It's no big deal. It's the end of the world. I might as well tell you now. He's a monkey. And how you doing, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages? Welcome in to another edition of The Wild Side with Eric Clark. I am your host, Eric Clark, saying thank you for taking time out of your busy day being awesome to hang out with us on the east side of Nashville. Make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel. Make sure you hit that notification button for the live streams and smash that like button for the algorithm. If you have a band, song, or a video, something you'd like me to make a video on, the best place to get that suggestion to me is over at the Discord server. Left-hand side, YouTube reaction requests. Read the pinned message. Drop a link, a brief description. I will get to your suggestion when I can. Also down below, all our social media links from Facebook, Twitter, X, whatever. Instagram, including ways to help the channel grow and contribute from Patreon to PayPal. Today we are checking out a classic unplugged Great White performance because we got chatting in the live stream and we were talking about the differences between covers and tribute. So today we're going all the way back to 1990. I believe it was the same episode with the damn Yankees. And we're checking out Jack Russell and Great White doing the Led Zeppelin. Actually, it's Ann Breeden. But it's Led Zeppelin classic, Babe, I'm Gonna Leave You on the Wild Side. Here we go.
like how he pointed. It's calling me back home. <laughs> <Dude>. uh. <laughs> okay, man. Great white Led Zeppelin's classic, babe. <laughs> We were so spoiled. We were so spoiled, man. I, I, I don't know how else to put that, man. We were spoiled. Uh, because this is just one of so much that we had at our fingertips at that time. I, I really hope our generation truly understands that we got to experience things like this. You know, they say never cover Led Zeppelin, Jimi Hendrix, Beatles, things like that. Well, there's a reason they say that. Because you're not going to do this. I, I believe it was rumored that when Robert Plant saw this performance, he said, that guy sounds better than I do. He sounds, he sounds more like me than I do. Um, so, <clears throat> excuse me. This is not a cover song. This is a flat-out tribute. Everything that you're hearing coming from this band drips their love and influence of Led Zeppelin. Everything. The drummer was able to capture the one element of John Bonham that did make him stand out from other drummers aside from Keith Moon. And, you know, maybe the crazy redheaded guy whose name is um, Ginger Baker because <clears throat> he always had that double bass roll. But this drummer is able to capture the depth that John Bonham could get out of his kit. 
there was a depth to John Bonham. Even playing a ballad, this is a ballad. I don't want anyone to mistake this. This is a flat-out love song. It really is, in a strange way. But it truly is. Everything about it is a love song. The 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 pain and the emotion that you you get through the vocals and the guitar blending through each other. There's a depth to that. And the drums capture this really, really nice depth of that drumming because when the drumming is coming in, it's coming in at the perfect time. Right when it's building, the vocals build your emotions to that point that 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 apex, that zenith of feeling. And then the drums come in and they add that fullness to that emotion. So you're able to connect through your heartbeat and that depth through the drums. And what the two guitars and the bass have done is they have created an extra level to that Led Zeppelin song. So instead of just having Jimmy Page or Jimmy Page looping another Jimmy Page, you're having these two elements creating this other wonderful menage with the lead singer, Jack Russell. So Jack Russell, I, I want to make sure that I say this before I forget. I've tried to write everything down uh, and make sure I get it straight. I, I want you to go back and watch that video, and I want you to watch how effortlessly and perfectly controlled that man's vocals are with this track. And this is not an easy song to sing in that way we are used to hearing it. And they went out and equalized that doubt. So yes, Led Zeppelin, Babe, I'm Gonna Leave You is an awesome song. But guess what? Great White's version is awesome too. Equally as awesome to me. And tragedy aside, I, I think that when I say we're spoiled... Great White put out two albums. The whole albums were bangers. You know, Rock Me, Lady Red Light, all that. Just two phenomenal, once bitten, twice shy, even though that's, an, that's a cover as well. They're able to capture the reason they sound so good and the reason that you hear that emotion and the connection to the original if you will, not really original, because I think Joan Baez did a cover of it, but the Led Zeppelin version, okay? When you put it all together, you have this wonderful tribute, and you hear, you can feel their attachment to that source. They're not making a cover song, folks. It's the, there is a difference. Cover songs can be just straight covers, and you go, okay, that's a cover song. But then you hear songs like this, versions like this, and you say, okay, this is a band paying tribute to their influence. So you hear all of the influence in there, yet, because of that guitar player, you hear this added additional modernity on top of the classic standard. So I, I have these conversations with people in the chat quite often about, you know, we need to take a step back when it comes to being hypercritical or hyper. Um, gatekeeping about music and understand how spoiled we were. So there's a reason when you talk to people of our generation and they come off with this salty attitude, this is why. Because this, again, this is great white. This is one of thousands of bands of this quality that we were inundated with. And then the music industry stole all of that future from us by funneling it down to these very few sources. Because this was coming out at a time when there were multiple methods and sources and, and platforms to receive new music. I was a music director in radio stations. I, Dude, our music call sheets were three, four pages long sometimes that you're calling labels and reps and A&R and managers and stuff. Now, it's if you were to put it on paper, it'd be like a half a page. So we were spoiled by the highest quality level of talent that you could find on the planet. And all you're seeing right here with this uh, unplugged performance is just another great example of the riches that rained down upon us from, I would say, 1963 to 1993. And this is right at the height of it all, right before it all kind of went downhill in the mid to late 90s. But, dude, this is... Again, we have, we have discussions about covers and tributes. And anytime someone says, oh, you shouldn't cover Led Zeppelin, show them this. Anytime someone says, oh, it's just a cover song, show them this. Because Jack Russell and Great White are the closest you're going to see to perfection in that moment at that time. 
Um, that is lightning in a bottle right there. So thank you very much for that suggestion. What a great song. What a great performance. Great white. Babe, I'm going to leave you. I believe it was 1990s Unplugged, and I think it was the same episode with Damn Yankees because I saw, I saw Damn Yankees with Leonard Skinnerd. I think around 90, 91, somewhere around there. So, yeah, it was at that time. So thank you very much for the suggestion. If you have a suggestion for a band, song, or a video, something you want me to check out, get over to the Discord server, left-hand side, YouTube reaction requests, read the pinned message, drop a link, a brief description. I will get to your suggestion when I can. Thank you to Connect 200 Music to see an Aunt Betty's Nut Butter. Make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel. Hit that notification button and the like button, along with all of our social media linked down below, including ways to help the channel grow from Patreon to PayPal. Thank you again for taking time out of your busy day to hang out with us on the east side of Nashville. Make sure you're looking out for each other. Make sure you're looking out for your neighbor. Try to do at least one good thing a day. I am Eric Clark, and this is The Wild Side. (laughs) 